Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with something a little bit different for you. You guys have been asking and I finally think I gathered up enough stuff to make this Makeup Monday video for you. Everything I think is gonna be from Dollar Tree and there's a ton of stuff, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to try today this new color BB cream. It's the Beauty Benefit Cream. I picked it up in light one and medium one. I did kind of test it the other day and the medium one I think is going to work better so that's the one I'm going to use but the light will probably be good for me late fall into winter and this is what the packaging looked like. It was kind of shoved in the packaging like this. So that's what it looks like on the peg in the store. So this was the light one. I did read the instructions and it says to apply with your fingertips. So that's what we're gonna do. I also have some wet wipes here because I know I'll need it. Quick shake. It says with your fingertips, but I did bring in a wet beauty blender and I also have a little foundation brush to just in case, you never know. My face is clean, it's moisturized. I did not put on any um, like pour pore refiners, that kind of stuff, primers, because I want to try it as is, right out of the package. So I'm going to go ahead. This is the medium one. I will show you the light one too. That's a lot. Let me set it here. Where did I put the light one? There is a, there is a massive difference in the color, so I will show you and then wipe it off. Can you see the difference in the color? This is the medium one. This is the light one. The light one may be good to use maybe as a concealer under your eyes, something like that, if you don't use an actual concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that light one off because I am gonna try the medium one and see how it goes. Okay, it says, to, oh, I didn't put my, hold on, let me grab my, my hair clippies. Let me get my hair out of the way. And if you hear stuff in the background, guys, everybody in the neighborhood is mowing today, so. So that's the medium one. We're gonna try it with the fingers and see how this goes. I have my makeup mirror sitting right here, right out of view. It's very thick, very, very thick. So we're gonna try, with, try that much first. It is very thick. I have a um a pretty big age spot right here, sunspot. It covered that actually pretty well. It feels kind of sticky to me. I have tried this brand, the foundation. It's like a regular foundation in that same type of tube. And I know I liked it a lot. I need to pick that up again and try it again. But this is the BB cream which honestly, guys, I don't even know what the difference is between a BB cream and a regular, but I'm telling you, this, this is thick and it's kind of, feels kind of sticky almost. So if you guys know much about BB cream and the differences and CC cream and all that stuff, or is it all just a bunch of hype? This color combination, or this um, shade is actually pretty good for me. It seems very dewy, but it's covering well. It's covering well, it's not settling into my pores, but I must say that it is accentuating my pores. So I don't know how that would be if I, how this would work if I would put on a primer. So I will play with that in the future on my, on my own outside of this video, but you know, so far, this isn't bad. Not bad at all, guys, really. It's it's very dewy. If you like that kind of, kind of wet, like summery look, I'm, I'm not complaining about this at all. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more over this age spot and see what it does. I would say this is a medium coverage. 
but it's not bad. There's no overpowering scent, which makes me super happy. That's not bad, and that, that's a pretty good shade for me. A medium one. If you guys are about my skin tone, I would try the medium one because the light one would, it would make you look like a ghost. It would be way too light. So again, that was the new color BB Beauty Benefit Cream in medium one, and it's a 1.0 fluid ounce. That is definitely worth $1.25. I'm liking it. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel, do you know how some, it feels like a mask on your face? This does not. But I did pick up this foundation as well. And I did try this the other day when I was getting ready. This is the LA, LA Colors Liquid Makeup. This says complete coverage. It came in a package like this. I didn't like this. This one did feel very, very um, mask-like. It did not cover well. It was very blotchy, not smooth. You, I don't know if you can see that. There's almost like little lumps in it. Do you see how it kind of like separates? I shook it and shook it and I'm just, I'm not a big fan of this LA Colors and this was in the creamy beige shade. So if you guys have tried this and if there's tips and tricks, but for me, to be honest, if I have to work too hard to put on makeup, I won't, I won't wear the makeup. I just won't. I, I like things that are quick and easy to use and do the job the first time and not have to spend two hours putting on makeup. That's just me. But the BB cream, we'll see as the video goes, but I'm liking it. Next is the Be Pure. These are the essential, Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer. I got it in the color Medium Deep and the color Light Medium. And what does it say here? Hydrating Serum Concealer, Paraben and Phthalate Free, which I like. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. So that may not work well with me. This is the um, Medium Deep. We're gonna go ahead and swatch just a bit. We're gonna see how that's gonna work. And then I'm gonna show you the swatch of the Medium Light. <clears throat> hyaluronic acid with me I can tell this is probably going to be way too light, but we may mix them. I mean, hyaluronic acid is supposed to kind of plump up your skin, hydrate. It doesn't work well with me. I don't like it. It makes my eyes water. So we're going to see if this does it. But I believe I may have picked this up in the past or something very similar to this. Can't remember what the brand was. We're gonna go ahead and try just a dot of the light and see what it looks like, but I'm probably gonna have to, have to mix. I'm I'm thinking this is gonna be too 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 light. Let's try the the medium here. And I do have all my makeup brushes and everything, and I wanted to say from the very beginning, guys, this is very liquidy, very serum -y. That's that's quite interesting. I wanted to say though from the beginning. Guys, I'm not a makeup artist. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing most of the time with makeup. I just want to show you the products that are out there at the Dollar Tree. This is very, very liquid. I can tell right now I'm not going to like this at all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it with my finger. I was just using a little brush here. And it seems very, very thin. I don't know if it's buildable, but we're gonna try. I can see it's gonna be kind of like the um, BB cream. It's gonna be kind of a dewy finish. I do see it kind of, it's doing something. It is covering my, my dark spots. But my goodness, it's almost like water. I mean, when they say it's a serum, they're, they're not lying.
I'm just, I'm not sure about this, guys. We're, we're going to go with it. I don't feel my eyes burning yet, so that's a good thing. I'm keeping a wet wipe right here handy because I know I'm going to need it. I'm even afraid to put powder on this because it's just going to make a make a mess. You know, but it is covering. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to let that just kind of settle down, dry down and see what see what it does. The um what was it? Medium deep is definitely, I think, a better color shade for me than, than the light. At least for now. It may be different once, once fall and winter gets here and I'm not out in the sun as much, but mm, I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> All right. What I normally do is I do my blush next. First off, I've never used a um a contour bronzer anything like that in my life but i did pick this up not in my life i have played with it not good at it i picked up this bronzer this is also by la colors and it is the natural looking tan color matte finish which i love and this is in the shade bronzed beauty so we're gonna go ahead and try Let's see, did I bring a brush in for this? I brought in a little little brush like this. I think this was Dollar Tree. It was a hard candy brush. We're gonna, I'm gonna go gentle on this because I don't know, don't know how powerful it is. I'm just trying to play with it here to see what, what it's gonna do on the back of my hand. And I know right now people are saying to put it up a little bit higher on the cheekbone, not real low. So we're gonna go ahead and and do what all the beauty gurus tell me to do. It seems to blend pretty well. I can tell I got more on this side than this side. And they also put some up here. And they also put some right at the the chin or the um, you know the, the jawline. I don't want to go overboard because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't put any more on the brush. I'm just kind of kind of patting in what. What do you think? That foundation, it is, it's dewy. I am gonna try to put some powder on here shortly after I let this serum concealer kind of blend in a little bit. See if it dries down some. This seems nice though, guys. This seems like it blends in pretty well. It It's definitely buildable. I'd go easy. I'm gonna to try to put a little bit right here, maybe on the sides of my nose. I didn't put any more on my brush. I'm just using what is what is already there. I look like I have a tan on my nose. All right, so that was the Instantly Radiant. Do I look instantly radiant? LA Colors Bronzed Beauty Matte Bronzer. I don't know, for $1.25, that was all right. It seemed to go good. All right, guys, this blush, this, this is interesting. People are going crazy over this, I guess. Trying to find it at the Dollar Tree. This is, an, is this another Be Pure product? 
They're saying it's a kind of it's similar to, I think it's Physic Physician's Formula blush. This is by B Color. Strawberry scented highlighter and blush. And it comes in this little pot. This was the box that it was in. Nice, cute little pot. And this smells like our makeup when we were kids. It has a strawberry, strawberry scent. I did, when I showed it in my video, my haul video, I did swirl, swirl on it. So it is kind of messed up, but the strawberry looked a lot cuter then. Let's see, what am I going to do here? I have this brush. This scares me a whole lot. I'm just going to go ahead and try it and see how pink this is and how shiny, shimmery. Actually, that's, it's not. Little bit. There is a gold, I can see it when my, I angle a certain way. There is a gold shimmer to it, but very light. I'm trying to go more around the edges of the blush and not hit the, the highlighter part. The strawberry shape is where all of the shimmer is. So I'm trying to kind of stay away from that. And when I put on my makeup, and I don't know if it's right or wrong, it's just how I do it, I bounce. Everything I do, I bounce it. It's not as bright as what I thought it would be, which makes me happy. That is actually not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna see how it, you know, how it works throughout the day. Not bad. And again, this was the Be Pure, the scented highlighter blush. I don't know if there were other shades of this. I have no idea. I just know everybody was going nuts with that one. And that was honestly the only one that I saw in the store and the only one I have seen since. I need to grab a drink here real quick, guys. And by the way, you may want to settle in. This is going to be a long one. All right. Next is going to be, I'm going to try to powder this just a bit. I'm going to use my, this is Essence, the Brighten Up Powder. I'm just going to go ahead and just lightly, lightly put some under, under my eyes and see what it does. I have a feeling it's going to get so cakey just because of how dewy this is. I'll blend this in here in a second, guys. The um, BB cream seems to be doing okay with the powder. They seem to be, seem to be blending well. I don't know if you can see the shine. I mean, it's almost like I've just been outside in the hot summer sun and sweating. That's something on my face. All right, it did, it, it did seem to work well with the powder. I don't see polka dot pores popping up. I definitely need to come in with more BB cream around my nose. I didn't do a very good job on the side. bad. Let's see where I need a brush here that's not not super dirty from anything else. The powder definitely helped. Under my eyes doesn't look too horrible. We'll see how that how that goes. All right, now I got this eyeshadow, but I did bring in a couple of my other ones from Dollar Tree. 
I don't think I have this one from LA Colors yet, so that's why I picked it up. This is the Smooth Jazz shade, and it's a little four, four palette, four color palette, all shades of gray. This is called Nude Glam by LA Colors in Smooth Jazz. Did I open this yet? And it does seem like most of them are pretty shimmery. Definitely like a smoky look palette here. Can you see that? It's very hard to see, I'm sure. They're all kind of shimmery shades. So I did bring in another palette because I love I, I love the um, LA Colors eyeshadow palettes. So I brought in several. So we're gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna mix Let's try this one with this one. And this one is in the shade Almost Nude. So we're gonna kind of mix them together. I brought in a couple different ones. I was on the hunt for those for months and then I finally found them and I was so happy about that because they remind me of another brand and now I can't even think of what the other brand is. Essence, I believe. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this lightest shade right here. It's almost a creamy white. It It is shimmery, I can see that. Not shimmery, just kind of a, a sheen. And I put it right up close to my eye, my eyebrows. Just to kind of give my eyebrows more definition. I hope you can see me in there. Just a little, just a little sheen there. And I also put some right in the corner of my eye. Don't go overboard. I did go overboard, but that's all right. And then let's see, those are so shiny. They're all so shiny. <laughs> all right, let's, let's see what's in this one. Are there any mattes in here? We're gonna go ahead and try this, this kind of taupey color. We're gonna put it in the crease. See how dark this is, and I may mix it with, with one of the dark ones from that other palette. And I go from the crease up a little bit. I try not to get my eyeshadow from the corner of my eye to the corner of my eyebrow, nothing below that. Because when I do, it just droops my eyes down. If you guys have watched these, you've heard me say that a thousand times. I just, I love LA Colors eyeshadow. It does such a nice job. There's no fallout on this. It goes on just beautifully. But I do it kind of from the crease up. My eyes are very hooded. So that seems to work well for me, kind of to open my eyes. In a couple of my hauls here recently, I kind of went overboard with the eyeshadow and didn't realize how off they were from one eye to the other. It looked pretty bad, and some of you were definitely calling me out on it. But I'm human, and I definitely am not a makeup pro, that's for sure. All right, and then I'm gonna try, let's try this darker, this, all. I guess it's almost black. We're gonna go ahead and try that in the outer, like outer third of my movable lid and right in the crease, the fold of my eye, just to give me a little bit more definition. Blacks are always very hard to work with. A good black eyeshadow is very hard to find a lot, at least for me, a lot of them are very patchy And the same with this one. This is definitely a color you have to work with a little bit more, but it's worth trying. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's pretty nice for black. I'm trying not to go super, super harsh with this. That's not bad. Then I'm just gonna blend it in here with that with that taupey color that I already had on my eye. Just, I don't want a harsh black, you know, eyeshadow. That's just not me. And then I'm gonna use 
let's use this either this gold color or this kind of shiny we're going to use this shiny kind of silvery brown color here and i put it right on my movable lid i didn't like glittery eyeshadow the older i get i'm liking it more this is definitely more of a glitter not sure i'm liking that too well It'll catch the light really nice outside, that's for sure. We're gonna go ahead and put some of that gold onto. Whoa. That that's bright. But let's go for it. I think that's good. <laughs> you know what? It look at that. It just doesn't even want to come off. We're going to put a little bit of sparkle right down the center of my nose. Not much, just a little. And then right at the top of my lip. <laughs> May as well use it. And yes, guys, you can use eyeshadow for blush. You can use highlighter for whatever. It's do you. All right, and then for my eyeliner, guys, you guys know that my handshake and I don't work well with liquid eyeliner. I make a mess. So I actually use an eyeshadow and I wet the brush and then go ahead and use that as my eyeliner. So where's my eyeliner brush? I just use a little angled brush. I keep a um, wet napkin or paper towel handy. I I wet the brush, but just damp. Not You don't want it drippy wet. And we're going to go ahead and use, we're going to try this gray shimmer and see how that works. I may have to go a little bit darker than that. And then I just go ahead and, and use that as my eyeliner. And I try to get as close to my lash line as possible. I don't go overboard because I'm not a big fan of the super harsh eyeliner look. I would rather it be kind of soft and kind of blended out look, but that's just me. Everybody, everybody is different. I'm gonna try a little bit of that darker black just to see what, what it does. It all definitely has a shimmer to it, but not bad at all. You know, you can get a really nice little makeup collection going, all from things from the Dollar Tree. If you have a young lady in your life, anybody that loves makeup, it's a great way to start. I remember years ago watching YouTube and so many of the bigger makeup guru people were shopping at the Dollar Tree and doing, you know, makeup reviews of Dollar Tree products. And now they have millions, millions of subscribers. It's crazy. That's about all I do with my eyeliner. I just try to get it as close to my lash line as possible. And that's it. And then under my eye, I go very lightly trying to make sure that my eyeshadow is even. I don't want I don't want any backlash from my critique people out there. Then for under my eyes, I use a um kind of a thinner brush. It's very it's real flat. And then I just go easy under my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and try this lighter gray shade and see what it does. It's kind of a taupey gray, I guess you would call it. See if it's dark enough. But I don't, I don't go overboard under my eyes either. It seems like the more, the more I put on, the smaller my eyes get. This is a nice little palette. I 
I was always afraid to pick up this dark of a palette. But this would be really nice for like New Year's Eve if you're going out somewhere and you want a smoky eye. I mean, everything's right here, everything that you need. That's not bad. Not bad. I like it. But I love I, the LA Colors eyeshadows. I've, I always have. I've been wearing them for years, and I'm not kidding you. It's probably been 10 years or more. Next, we are going to try the eyebrow pencil. I think I've used this before, and I like their eyebrow pencils as well. This one is the LA Colors brow pencil, and it is in the shade Soft Brown. It does have a spoolie on the end. And this is one of the pencils that you do have to sharpen yourself. It's a wooden pencil. So with my eyebrows, if you guys have followed, you know I do a little line under this fatter section right here toward my nose. Just a very choppy line. I just kind of briefly, briefly, easily fill in. And then I kind of did make little flick marks up just to kind of fill in where it's sparse. This pencil may be a little bit light for me, but it does the job well. I don't know if you can see the difference as good as I do, but it's just, this is nice. It goes on super smooth. And I do the same over on this side. I say it all the time, my eyebrows are completely different. So I try to do my best to kind of even them using the pencil. This soft brown would be a real nice color for um, any of you ladies with an auburn, auburn hair, because it does kind of have a, not a red, but just a, a nice auburn undertone to it. And that's about all I do. Then I use the spoolie, I come in and I just kind of brush it out a little bit, see if there's anywhere that I need to fill in that I miss that just looks a little bit off. I try to try to make them look semi-even. Good enough. But I like these pencils. They're very soft, they go on well, the spoolie is nice. And I don't know how far the product goes down this pencil, but this is a big pencil, guys. But remember, you will have to have a sharpener. I just use a regular pencil sharpener. Okay, what's next? Oh, I um, I set my brows sometimes. Don't mind this because as you're using it, the color that is on your eyebrows is gonna get in here. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Clear. It's like a clear mascara or eyebrow gel. I use this on my on my brows and I just kind of run them through and it sets them in place and it'll stay all day. And yes, it's from the Dollar Tree. I get this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I think you can find it elsewhere too, but it's at the Dollar Tree. Why not get it there? I have no idea what it costs elsewhere. But I just put some of that on and it will dry and then your eyebrows just stay in place. I've taken naps and my eyebrows don't move, but they don't feel crunchy and hard either. Next is my mascara. And this is gonna be interesting because I've never tried this before. This is by Ioni. And this is, let me see, what does it say here? Makeup Gala Volumizing Black Mascara. And it's in the shade, I believe, Brie is the, the name of it, but it is black. So we're gonna go ahead. This was on one of those big displays, Ioni displays. We're gonna go ahead and try this and see how this goes. Oh, I also have, where did it go here? I have that little eyelash device that I wanna try if need be. And this was, is this sassy and chic? Yes, this was this eyebrow thing was, or eyelash, I'm sorry, was sassy and chic, and it's to separate your eyelashes. So we're gonna try that if need be. Have my little torture device, which I always curl my lashes, always. It just makes my eyes look bigger. 
So let's try this mascara. Again, this was Ioni volumizing in the shade black. I believe they also had some in colors. It kind of smells like cherry. Let's try it. It doesn't seem goopy. It does seem a little bit dry, but that's not a bad thing. And you know, just opening this up, I'm sure it's gonna need kind of mixed around and all of that stuff. It definitely doesn't like pack a punch, but it's not bad. It It's kind of a natural look. It separates nicely. I have a hair that's going in my eye. I'm sorry guys. It separates okay. I don't I don't have a problem with that. Hmm. We're gonna try to put a second coat on there. I'm gonna let it dry more and then try a second coat. Very light but it does separate. It does lengthen some. It does volumize some. You know, it's not in your face. Like, bam, mascara. This isn't bad. Doing my left eye is always so much harder than doing my right. I sleep on this side and my eyelashes are always crazy. So if you guys have any tips on how to how to straighten them out, but it's like they're almost permanently, permanently folded. It's weird. But I just go with it. This you do have to work out a little bit, but I'm wondering if it's just because it's brand new. Because a lot of mascaras it takes a few times using them to actually see the actual effect. I don't know the word I'm looking for for that, but it takes you getting some air into it and really moving the mascara around in the tube. And but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I just got some on my, on my skin. I think I've said it before guys, if, if you get anything on your skin, let it dry first. And then then go ahead and use a, a Q-tip. We're gonna try that little device thing on this eye because it's this eye's crazy. I'm afraid of it. I'm afraid of this device. It's metal, it's little metal teeth. You know, I've had eyelash combs all my life, but this one is metal. It, you know, it definitely goes through the eyelashes. This is this would be great. Let's try this eye that's really wonked out. I keep wanting to blink. It definitely separates and it looks, you know, it gets the little clumps out. Hmm. Now, would I, would I buy this again? Probably not, but it was fun to try it. It does get the, it does separate and get the clumps out. I will have to come back, back in and work on these lashes, but that's not the mascara's fault. That is my eye's fault. So, all right, let's see. Now, lips. I picked up these two, these two lip balms, and they are called a lip stick with shea butter. I picked up two just because I didn't know what shades they were. This one is in the Safari Nude, and the shade is Mauve. And this one is in China Silk, and the shade is Nude Pink. And these were also hanging in one of those Ioni displays. So we're going to 
gonna go ahead and let's try this lighter one. Let's, for now anyway. This is the China Silk in Nude Pink. And it's almost like a, a balm. It has a slight tent or slight scent to it. Very creamy. Not sticky. It's nice and moisturizing. It is kind of a, a nude pink. It's that's nice. So let's go ahead and try this shade over it. What did I say this was? This is in Safari Nude, and it's the shade Mauve. And this has a nice shine to it. So you wouldn't really need a lip gloss. Those are both very nice. I don't know if you can tell the difference really. One, This one is a little bit darker than this one. Nice. So, all right, guys, my opinion, the under eyes are actually looking halfway decent, even though I put the powder on. Guys, I'm, I'm liking it all. Seriously, I am liking it all. Even that under eye concealer, as liquidy as it was, it seems to be working okay. You know, did it completely 100% cover everything? No, it didn't which nothing does on me. It just doesn't. I I have dark circles. I have deep tear troughs. It's it just is what it is. But that all of this makes me happy. So, yeah, I I'm happy with this. So, Dollar Tree for the win today, guys. So, if you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.